we are here in um, Papua. Uh, I just bought a PC6 and FSC Pull last up. night. Pull up. Take it to the Maldives. Uh, Jay Barrett, thank you very much for the subscription. Welcome, welcome aboard. So this is this is Papua, and this is um, here's the PT6. Oh boy, the interior textures are a little rough. The exterior is actually not bad for being a freebie. I do have the Suzy Air livery, but it's pretty broken. The windows, um, you can't see the interior from it. Uh, oh, there will be a payware one. Oh, you think so? Um, exclusive preview. Link for the plane. Um, good call. What's up, Verity? Pilatus Porter. Link for the plane is incoming. Here is the plane. And bank angle, bank angle, bank angle. Beardy, thank you for three months, man. That's awesome. Welcome. Not welcome back. I was going to say welcome back. He never left. Beardy, thank you very much um, for for the three months. All right, so we're going to go to... I, I even forgot the name of the airport that we're going to. This doesn't even look like where I was, does it? That looks really weird. This is like a completely different map. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that was. Uh, let's see. So here's the interior of this guy. It is really, really flat. Like really flat. Um, they do have the correct seat covers though that's say pilatus so that's that's sure nice and let's see here getting some getting some views set up here um warning set correct trim before takeoff Freeware and this is pretty this is pretty rough. Um, but the exterior actually does look pretty good. And in fact, let's probably let's get a um, exterior view locked in here. Let's get a couple of them. It's definitely not a pretty plane like in general. Um yeah, this is, I don't, the tag one. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that's right, Verity. I think, I think that is the one. Um, yeah, so here we go. Okay. Um, let's get that on real quick. I want to see if I can find the nearest, if it's going to show. Um, point nearest. It doesn't show anything. Awesome. That's great. Is this going to uh, pop up yet? Okay, so I think this is where we're going to go. I think. W-A-S-F. So let's see if that will load in. Probably going to clear that. Okay, W-A-S. This is really clunky navigation-wise. Um... So let's put that in there, and it's sh it's showing. All right, let's get Sky Vector up here just so I have something something to look at. Uh, November eight seven uniform, Papa. How's it going? Yeah, this this thing is is a brute.
This might be the wrong airport. Yep. This is the wrong airport. So we need to go to the right airport. Oops. We would have been a bit off course. W A S T. I guess we don't have too many options there. It needs a big watermelon on that panel. <laughs> oh, man. At least it loads, loads up pretty quick. I don't think that's the right spot either. Where's this thing bringing me, dude? There, there we go. All right, we'll do a little, little airport hopping here. B A Y Y. It. I had trouble finding this first one. W Y A L W Y A L. City. Let's try. Here we go. Okay. We found it. That's what I was looking for. All right. We found it. That's why the map was looking weird because it was weird. This first airport. We're going to do in the porter just to do it, even though it looks pretty crappy. Um, how's this airport look? All right, so we got some action here. We got a nice little airport going. Cool. We got some trees, all kinds of cool stuff. Let's get the avionics off and figure out how to start this thing. Um, so let's go beacon. That's pretty easy. And let's go separator on, I guess. Let's go. Man, I have absolutely no idea how to do this. Uh, let's go to, does that work? Okay, so that works. Let's go fuel pump. And maybe. Seems to be starting. Sweet. I don't hear anything though. Awesome. Um. <laughs> oh no, let's make a noise. This is very very quiet noise. Okay, so it's not very, it's not very loud. Okay, and I got really tiny prop control. Uh, hey, what's up, time? Uh, is there ever a bad place to be a pilot, though? <laughs> good, uh, 
Good question, Puck. Um, I think probably this is one of them. Pedo heat. We need gens on, right? Um, we're just going to not worry about that one, right? God, this thing is so jank. Oh, my God. Uh, hey, what's up, High Wing? This thing is so flat. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, now, now what? All right, now what what are they calling this airport up here? WX82. Um Oh yeah, here we go. WXZ8. That's where we want to go. WXZ8 is what it's saying that that thing is called. Okay, so let's go into nearest, see if that comes up. Yep, there it is. WXZ8. Direct. Activate. And there we go. Okay. Planning done. Let's do it. Um, nice time. I don't think Brad is... I don't think Brad's hanging out tonight. I could be... Could be very wrong though. But we had a fantastic flight last night. Um, I don't have the the footage downloaded. It was at night. I did my night cross country, and it was really really fun. Um, super dark, so I don't know how the footage is going to turn out. Um, but this one we might. We might skip a debrief just because um, because it is dark, but also we are planning on going out on Saturday in the daylight, which um, which will be really nice. And we'll make for some better footage. Let's that view kind of sucks. And I really don't know if I feel like going, like taxing back all the way. Let's just see if we can take off from here. <laughs> There's, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, it just takes off like immediately. Good Lord. This thing is ugly. Uh, did you set trim before takeoff? I have no idea. <laughs> Hi wing, I, I will promise you that my landings will not be flat in this thing. Where is the trim even? Is that it down there? Do not reverse in flight. All right. Thanks for that. Well, at least it's really quiet. <laughs> What's up, URL? Uh, this plane made my made by Fisher Price, dude. It's it's pretty pretty toy. I mean, the exterior for a free plane that actually does not look too bad. But um, the interior is not good. But big old big old engine there. I mean look you can just crank it up. Look at this look at this deck angle like that. <laughs> oh my god. And we're gonna go right through the clouds. I actually do want to climb up um, beyond this cloud layer. Cause we're we are heading Oh, good, and that um, does not show the GPS, does it? It doesn't show the GPS on there. 
cool. All right, so I gotta get back on that heading. That is, that sucks. That sucks. What's up, Iowa? Uh, Sober Me says it looks bad as well. That's when you know it's bad. But look at the ortho. That looks nice, right? So we just fly it from the outside. That looks way better. To be fair, independent devs working on their free time have one hell of a competition these days uh, with the quality of our payware planes. Absolutely. Yeah, ortho good, plane bad. No, and I and it's, I am I'm really, it's this plane looks like garbage, on the inside, with just, that looks really stupid, but it's free. It's the plane that, was in the TV show, um, who cares? You know we can we've got some payware stuff or you know the, the normal fare that we can, we can hop in if this. You know, it was just Watch the too much to take. <laughs> the price is good. No kidding, John. That is, that's the, that's the right mindset for it. The, you can't beat the price. <laughs> uh, that's awesome. I was wondering, you caught me off guard, Iowa. I saw you in the chat um, before I heard you. This is no Zebo. Well, but keep in mind too that the Zebo is based on the default um, 737, and that you've got to pay 60 bucks to get that. So, but yeah, it's not pretty. And I think, at least from what I've experienced, planes usually look better on a stream than they do when they're on your native um, screen. So it probably looks better to you than it does to me. Um, yeah, that uh, deviation card is... Yeah. It's just shit is what it is. It's just complete, total shit. Yes. Oh, there we go. I had the... I had that turned down. That helps. Get a little bit of a hum... Okay, let's see how close. Holy crap, we're not even going anywhere near the right direction. Good thing I checked. How did that happen? Uh, right. There we go. Towards the mountains. Okay. Uh, 1110 sounds like a PT-6. <laughs> yeah, well, this, this thing does bank. I mean, there was a couple of clips of these guys ripping ripping this plane um, I'm gonna actually get the get the props pulled back a little bit uh, let's see let's see what it can do I, th I think it'll just it'll just roll right over no problem right yeah all right well our uh, our supplies in the black in the back got got banged around a little bit Handling seems pretty accurate. Yeah. God, what, why do I keep... Towards the mountains. We want to be going over there. I'm just going to try to follow that river. We're up above the cloud layer. That helps. Because I think that is... I think the cloud tops are... At least this layer. This layer's another... Even further, further up. Um, but yeah, this should be, <clears throat> this should be pretty interesting. Um, yikes. But yeah, the night flight went, went great last night. Um, we went to Oxnard and back. First time flying into Oxnard, which is basically just like flying into Camarillo. So it was kind of cheating because the route was, um, very familiar. But... That fulfills all of my night requirements, which is kind of a nice feeling to be done with that. Um, and then Saturday. Saturday, we're probably just going to go 
uh, to the Inland Empire somewhere, like San Bernardino, um, Redland, somewhere out there. Uh, hopefully, hopefully have lunch if we've got enough time. And then on Sunday, I might be doing my solo long cross country. So that would be that'd be a lot of a lot of flying in one week for me, which is good. Brad is off to type school, so I'm gonna be CFI list for a while. makes everything more accessible. It does. Great. It does um, make everything way more accessible. <laughs> Why does this thing keep going so far off course? What have, what is happening? Like this airport is not that far, but it's going to take me freaking forever to get there. Okay, I don't know why the generator light is still on. Whatever. Most of this stuff doesn't work. Fuel selectors on both. Look at these little cuties right here. That's hilarious. Let me borrow someone's CFI and Photoshop my name on it. Slip links. <laughs> yeah, Highway, when was the last time you were in uh, Zero Mike Echo? I feel like it's been a while since you flew that, that little dude. So we're actually a lot closer than I thought we were going to be. It's minus the, uh, the little detour here. Um, this this support beam right here is pretty weird on this plane as well. This thing is really hilarious. Um, I flew it last weekend. When you went to oh, did you were you in um, Zero Mike Gecko? Oh, that's right. Yeah, you did. That's when you did the um, all the maneuvers out there. How's the flight model? Sorry, haven't been paying attention. Um, Ceremonial Melon, the uh, flight model seems to be okay. So that was good. That stall horn. I'll angle of attack. There we go. Yeah, it seems, I mean, it's not like super cartoony. It rolls nicely. All right, what what heading are we on here? I can't even read what the freaking heading is. Um, oh, I guess it shows up, My the line shows up here, I think, right? Or is that something totally different? It might be totally different. Not gonna, Not going to worry about it. Seems unrealistically smooth. I agree. <laughs> um, Major Kong, what's happening? Um, so I'm gonna get. I'm gonna have this thing ready to go. Currently, yeah. Currently, anywhere being in this plane, but um, what is happening now? What cloud layer did we just fly into? Um, pop out. So this is um, that link that I just posted um, is a TV show. I think it's a Sky Sky TV show or BBC Four or some some British show uh, about pilots going to Indonesia, flying for Suzy Air. To get uh, to get their time up, and one of the planes they fly is this Pilatus PC6, and they do cargo runs to these crazy remote tribes up in the mountains. So right now we are on a mission with some supplies in the back to fly this thing um, to our first stop. But this plane has four engines. It's an entirely different kind of flying altogether. It's, it's an, an entirely, entirely different, different kind of flying. Kind of flying. <laughs> yeah, this is an entirely different kind of flying. 
So it's pretty it's pretty crazy the the terrain that they um, that they fly in. I mean that the the documentary the, the series is pretty is pretty good. Um, I've watched three out of the four episodes and I'm pretty hooked. And it's and it's not so like aviation-y where you know you can you can watch it with your significant other and not totally loser. Um, you know they do interviews with the pilots and it's pretty entertaining and you get the aviation stuff in there um, as well. Kim is on his second watch, <laughs> second go through in the series. It's really awesome I and mean, I, I really recommend it. There's our air, there's our airport insight. These clouds are really pissing me off. Okay, so we are in sight. We're gonna, we're gonna do a little bit of a flyby here. I've watched it twice. It's amazing the stuff that that these pilots will go through to build time, um, and it further, you know, drives home the point that we are very lucky in the U.S. here to have the uh, aviation culture that we have, where you don't have to fly these crazy dangerous routes just to build up time. PC-12 is the Piper Cub. <laughs> yeah, seriously, it's, it's a little beast for sure. Um, it was, it's awesome seeing it in that show at work because they really just throw it into these tiny little airports and calling them airports isn't even doing it justice. Also Bush pilot show in Botswana. Um, yeah, that would be a good one. Yeah. I, um, hi Wayne, you may, you may need to post the link for, for that show. I don't know if I've seen that. That'd be sweet. Yeah, I don't... Th I don't think I like these clouds here, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Looks, looks pretty... Pretty sketchy, and I don't want to, like, go freaking blackout or whiteout as I'm landing. So there's the airstrip. Got some nice little scenery around there, some trees. Looking just hella jank. Let's see, let's do a little little drive by. Looks like those clouds are clearing up as we get closer here. Okay, so here's our first stop. And yeah, that is that's pretty rough. So I have um, follow airport contour thing turned off, so it's going to be pretty bumpy. All right. How are we going to do this? Start by trimming, and then we're going to make sure we don't hit any mountains. Okay, it's got some flaps coming in, so we're gonna try to take this pretty, um, pretty flat. I think. Yeah, the clouds are accurate. I just didn't want to have to fly through any of them. God, this is this is so ridiculous. Look at this. <laughs> All right, here we go. You can kind of see the where the airstrip is on the ortho. We're gonna go around, just so you know. Hey, what's up, Bernie? And I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do a little right traffic action.
Bank angle. Bank angle. Bank angle. Shadow. Shadow Diver, thank you so much for the subscription for three months. Definitely appreciate that. Low pass to scare off the animals. No, there's a practical, there's definitely a practical purpose to that. Besides just being way too high and fast. Yeah, it was super, super entertaining. <laughs> the hell went to... Dude, seriously, the exterior looks pretty good. The interior, not so much. Okay, so there, there it is right there. Let's get everything. Everything slowed down here. Props full forward and what I believe is full flaps. Overshot the crap out of that thing. We're just going to do some some S turns as we get it in stall range. Look at that nice little cloud too. All right, we can do this. <laughs> this hidden gem. <laughs> it's done. Uh, we're gonna die. No, nope, we're just going to power right through it. I love that. Dead. Wow, there's very little in the way of finesse in this thing. Are we actually dead? Nope. And we're going to go off the cliff. We're going to go off the cliff. Come on. Come on. Nope. I think we're going to be I think we're going to be fully dead. Son of a... Alright, sorry tribesmen. You guys aren't getting your... Oh, I think we're dead. I think we're alive now. I think we're... I think we're pulling out of it now. Alright, alright, thank you. Come on, pull up, buddy. Come on, pull up. We can do this. Yeah, I've got I've got that bound for sure. Why is it not pulling up? Come on. Is it the flaps? Is it the props? What are we doing? Why is it just like floating? <laughs> oh my god, what Oh, am I in reverse? No, I was in reverse. Hey, B2. Good lord. Alright, we can... <laughs> this is definitely different. Um, well, Ernie, I had a, a fantastic last minute night flight last night with Brad. Uh, we did our night cross country. So, um, wanted to hop on here and do a little this won't probably won't be too long but I wanted to I wanted to try these airports in general um, so I felt like it was a, a good opportunity to hop in here with our our two-dimensional little Pilatus uh, nice if you guys do like these videos be sure to smash that thumbs up button also subscribe to the channel yes this crash is brought to you unbeknownst to him by Steve one Knievo thank you Steve um, yeah, threw together a little ortho. Uh, got a freeware um, Suzy Air airport pack. This little Pilatus, which we're going to try to crash again. Come on, I can we can land this right? Let's 
go let's go full flaps here well thank you Ernie yeah I there's well I got one more picture that looks pretty cool but yeah it was a beautiful night great great flight okay and I also have to remember that this is a tailwheel plane as well okay so this looks a little bit better but it's also kind of hard to tell Hard landing, that's okay. Look at that. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. Looking really good, though. We're looking great. Captain Aviation, what's up? That was looking really nice. Okay, let's get all the way down to the end here. We're not going to need all of this runway, I think, but it's here. Cessna Skyhawk 204. Fuck! <laughs> oh, this is definitely an... F. Okay, let's see how that looked from the outside. Maybe not this part. Maybe this part. <laughs> I kind of forgot about her. She's all right. She's good. Uh, and there we go. So that was nicer. That was much better. On the center line, uh, better than the first attempt. Um, <laughs> Kenny, well, you, you just missed it, dude. We just had a pretty, pretty crazy one. Um, uh, you know that night flying pictures speak to my heart probably an easy 90% of my time was that night. <laughs> nice for me. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty fantastic and it is uh like cheating here for sure. All right, so that was a good one. Um we had a little fun here. Not the best. Um, so the actual identifiers for these airports do not actually match the um what the sim shows. So WXPJ is going to be our next one. So we're going to come into here and we're going to go to nearest and WX. PJ. I wonder if we passed it. Bro, where are you at, dude? W, X, keep going. Okay, guess it doesn't like that one for some reason. What about this guy? W, Z, 2, 0. W, Z, 2, there. Ah, there's that one right there. Let's do that. Direct to you. And let's get our luggage out, or not luggage, our <laughs> cargo out of here. Keep the engine running for the aboriginals. It's supposed to be 60 tomorrow and 73 on Saturday. Nice, dude. Uh, okay, let's go one notch flaps. My brakes on? No, we're just in the dirt. All right, here we go. Tail is up. Bouncing all over the place. Now looks good. And gear, or flaps are coming up. 
I just checked at High Wing. Um, yikes. What is that? It's a lot of black smoke. I, I'm not a fan of these clouds right now. But I think we gotta go this direction, right? Yeah, we gotta turn around. Yeah, this would be really, really cool prop strike area. The only thing is that there's no real tree. Like, I don't know how they, you'd have to figure out some kind of autogen situation for the trees. Because right now it's just totally flat. Um, there's a couple of patches where there's some trees. Um, but this would be really cool. You have like a built-in, um, what does that say? I don't know what that means, but it's going out. Do we pee to It's got a built-in backstory with the, um, the tribes. I mean, it could, with, between Prop Strike and FS Economy, it would be really cool. <laughs> What's up, Rigorian? We were almost headed in the right direction. We're in a Pilatus PC-12 Porter in Papua. Doing some cargo runs for some aboriginal tribes that need some medicine and rice or something. I don't know. That red thing looks like it's coming out of my ear. Okay. Yeah, it's super... It's not pretty. It is very utilitarian. Alright, I think we might need to go no clouds. Or at least... Let's go... Let's get the scattered layer out of here. Let's get these guys up here. Way out of our way. There. That way we can see more of the beautiful ortho. Look at that. It's actually not bad in places, but we've got the, uh, the clouds over the tiles situation, which is always fun. Um, Utilitarian, which to a degree makes it pretty. I I am with you on that to some extent, Bernie. I think they fly caravans on those runways too. On some of the runways they do, but these like really back in the jungle ones, um, the PC6 is what they what they use. Yeah, this is not a pretty this is not a pretty example of it. They are. They're they're goofy looking. That that vertical stabilizer looks like like a Lego piece that someone just stuck on. Holy crap! Look at this terrain though. That looks pretty cool. Damn. Yeah, that doesn't look that doesn't look too bad. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now, that first airport I had at least checked out. I hadn't landed there before, but I um, I spawned over there. This one I have no idea what it looks like. What's how long it is? How how high up it is? This could either be a piece of cake or a total disaster, which is the kind of um, Kind of odds that that we like sometimes, at least for this kind of flying. Right. How far? How far out are we? Okay, we're not too far out, and we are hauling ass. Where's the fuel? I need to make sure I know where the fuel is because... Oh yeah, fuel quantity. There it is. 
Gotta keep an eye out for that because that is... I'm gonna be just full everything this whole time, so we're probably gonna run out of that. I really hope that this airport is decent elevation. Uh, we're flying in Papua, Major Kong. So this is um, this is kind of what we're recreating here. Yeah, yeah, that guy, that guy is awesome. He's he's one of the pilots on the show, and he has his own channel with um, some pretty cool videos. Should be somewhere. Well, that looks like something down there. Let's see if that pops into an airport. If it does, we might be in trouble because that looks like that um, scenery is going to be <laughs> not flat. Yeah. That one makes the last runway look like <laughs> 12,000 feet. I know. It's f crazy. This is, if that is actually the airport or the runway, that kind of sucks. I don't think so. Kind of waiting for the airport to pop in. We're a little bit far out, I think. Um, is that it? I don't think that's it. Susie Air at its finest. Indeed. It would be pretty fun to fly this thing, that's for sure. Okay, where where is this thing? Oh, dude, that, is that it? Please don't be it. I don't think it is, but... No, that's definitely not anything. Just a little clearing. I think we're probably on the other side of this this ridge here. Yeah. And those are not that's not snow in the tropical desert or tropical rainforest. Uh, those are clouds. Thank you, Ortho. Might be able to spot it from here, um, but it, it does kind of look like snow, so it doesn't bother me too much. Even though it's, it is really stupid. Okay, where is this? Oh, there's something down there. There's a little little village or something. There's a flat area. Okay, we might be looking right at it here. Oh, there it is. There we go. How's the wind looking? Nice little crosswind. Okay, so we're going to come in from this side here. Awesome. Piece of cake. <laughs> you guys, how you guys doing back here? Are you okay? That looks pretty good. Okay, now this is this would be insanely cool looking in real life, but this might not be as cool. 
Let's see. Let's see if we can stuff it in here. What's up, Puff? Let's see. How's this going to work here? <laughs> the exterior of this thing is really not that bad. If it was just a little bit nicer in the interior, this would be pretty solid. Hey, what's up? Happy Thursday, Cessna. Yeah, ugly is ugly is uh, we can stomach ugly. But this is on, on a different level. All right, now now I lost the runway. Oh, is that it? Is that it? Uh, straight ahead there. Oh yeah. Okay, there it is. There it is. Yeah, trashy is all right. This is this is just brutal. We're gonna have to do a nice little low pass here. Man, I bet this is awesome in, in real life. This this actually looks kind of. I mean, all these are gonna look kind of familiar, but um, yeah, this one is short here. was okay <laughs> this should be interesting let's get some flaps in there oh it just balloons right up and yeah, let's try to hold like Seventy-ish. Okay, we're just full, full idle. This is going to be really bad. This is going to be bad. Okay, I'm, I'm ready for the reversers. <laughs> oh god, this is so bad. With a tailwind. Come on, stop. We're, we're going over. We're going over. Oh boy. I don't think the reversers worked. <laughs> Alright, let's get let's get back up there. Let's see if we let's see if we can get back up there. That was that was a mess. Yeah, we just had a little tiny crash. Well we didn't go through the Suzy Air uh, training regimen, so we're we're pretty unprepared for this. Come on, get up the hill. It's not gonna get up the hill, is it? Come on. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Well, there's a problem. I don't have, like, all of my tire. Okay. All right. Everybody get your, um... I don't know, what do they have here? What do they need? What do you Turning guys need? Off the beaten path of aviation. Very, very off the beaten path. 
Okay, everyone pick up your... Um, they have like iPods or something. Let's try... Let's go to WX03. <laughs> Trent Palmer confirmed. <laughs> Uh, WX03 nearest WX03 there it is beautiful okay let's do it um, not really two of the most successful landings ever but you technically didn't hit anything Dude, this thing takes off pretty quick. We almost lost our shipment of missionaries. I don't. I think the missionaries probably would have been fine if we if we missed the shipment. Cause there's some stories about mission missionaries that didn't quite make it out of this region. Somebody thought it was a good idea to let me fly this thing. I don't think anybody actually thought it was a good idea. <laughs> What's up, White Leg? Yeah, they ate the missionaries. That is... Birds. Whoa. What's up, Tavar? Birds are the least of our concern out here. This is cannibal country, dude. There are also birds. There are also birds, but there's also... Alright, so this this next hop is gonna be pretty easy. See how how great would this be for FSE? Get some FS economy flights and just airport hop in this thing. That's pretty pretty cool. And these are super challenging runways. But we need we need some prop strike studio love for this, I think. I think that'd be cool. Even though they're they're in the into the Canadian stuff, I think this would be they could package this in a way that would be would be pretty fun. But some FS economy jobs, um, a little bit better, even a little bit better PC six. Um, that would be it would be nice. Yeah, but not but not your kind of Canada high wing, like actual back in the like deep Canada. Um, is someone actually making a PC six? Like another one? This is not a very popular plane, so um, I'm surprised this one even exists, but. A high quality one would be pretty fun though. PC6 project. Hmm. Well, we'll see. That would be cool. This this one is this is a bit sketch. We're on track. Finds out flying Q400 in icing edition. Made that, made that a double Long Island instead. <laughs> yeah. So I haven't I haven't even downloaded the footage from last night's flight. I don't even know how much of it is is usable, but uh, like usual, some pretty pretty good conversation up there. Um, it's probably worth a um, it's probably worth a debrief. So I'll get it downloaded tonight. We'll take a look at how good the footage is. Might have to do like a uh, simultaneous sim thing like we've done before um, and then brief for the potential flight on Saturday which should be 
you know, it won't be a terribly long flight to do in Pilot Edge, but um, maybe we can do do the Pilot Edge one first and then, then go to the debrief. That's what we'll do. We'll do the Pilot Edge flying first and then we will go debrief. It was a fun night flight, though. So we're only five miles away and pretty high. So we're gonna have to definitely slam dunk it in here. <laughs> Get those freaking clouds, dude. That looks looks so bad. Dude, the outside is not bad. Thanks, Nightbot. No one, no one really cares though. But let's just huck it in here. Let's see where this thing is. We're coming up on it fast. Uh, might be on the other side of this hill here. Yeah, it looks like it's a little bit to the left. Let's try on the the other side of this valley. Still trying to figure out what S talking is. <laughs> Dude, you know what you know what S talking is. I do have to I do kinda wanna update that. We do some shit talking, but not a whole lot. Warning, set correct trim before takeoff. Don't tell me what to do, Pilatus. I don't see this airport at all. <laughs> yeah, we're landing for that matter, seriously. Uh, let's see here. I don't see anything down there. Oh, is that supposed to be our runway? Yep. There it is. Awesome. Okay, you guys ready for this? <laughs> Gear down, three green, or in this case, two green, two and a half green. Um, this is gonna be. This is gonna be great. Get ready for this. We're gonna do a flyby. I'm gonna do a little approach. I'm gonna just. I'll get in here. Wait. <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw this. Look at this runway. What the hell is that supposed to be? Whoa! Whoa. Found it! Hello. Found the ground. What is that? Oh, we actually might be able to land on that piece. Let's try let's try it from the other side. Here we go. What the hell is that thing? Yeah. All right, let's spin her around. How much altitude did I lose here? Not too much. All right. So that's that should be enough lengthwise. But what like what is that in real life? Oh crap. Yeah, we did it at Quantum in a plane that actually had, like, slightly realistic flight characteristics. I don't know what this is. Okay, let's try it. Um, I... the code, according to this, is WX03. That's what X plane is saying that it is. I, I it's something different on Sky Vector. Oh God. Oh God.
That's right. Just just a small just a small little uh, detour. <laughs> How the hell are you supposed to do that? How are you supposed to do that? The wind is not helping. Nothing's helping. This is just a this is an all around nightmare. Okay. Let's, let's take another another bite out of this thing. It's like that slope. I I need to aim like way way left of the center. <laughs> Yeah, they don't care. It's found food. We're it's vegan at that point. Okay. Too low. Terrain. Terrain. Yeah. Like I have a right to left crosswind and I just with that with the angle of it, that's why I'm moving downhill cuz it's like It's just on the side of a freaking mountain, dude. That's why I kept drifting because it's like the, the <laughs> land the other way. I'll try it on the other way. Oh my god. Dude, I don't think that's going to help at all. I, in fact, that might be much it might be way worse. Here we go. Like that's wings level right there. Just can't do it. It won't do it. Look at this stupid runway. What is that about? Let's try to land on that part. I think we'd have more of a we'd have more of a, a chance landing that way. We're looking good. Oh, we're looking good. Looking so good. What? White leg. That's not. That's bad news. Um. Any other any other details on that? As we're about to do this, probably not very appropriate. Here we go. This is this is how to land here. This is how to do it right there. There you go. Look at this. Look at this. That was a beauty right there. That's a freaking beauty. Okay. Oh, that was the text? Oh. I couldn't see where what that what that was from. Oh, there's a hell R22 right there. Uh frick. Do we have any any details yet? Probably not a very appropriate time to be trying to pull off these types of landings. We planted that one. That that was not bad. Okay. Let's that oh god. Oh no. Come on, come on. I think we might we might just have to come up the side here. Oh boy. Oh boy. There we go. 
there we go. Okay, yeah, I can see I can see some of the uh, uh, some of the shots here. Um, wow. Well, I mean, I know this might sound crazy, but I hope everyone's okay. Just because there's a big fire doesn't necessarily mean that. Um, you know, it wasn't on the ground and they had time to get out and the planes just just caught on fire. Uh, Beach Duke. Yeah, so that's not great. Not great. Well, hopefully we can um, we can get some we can get some good news. Hopefully, let's keep our fingers crossed. That's still super early, um, so let's let's hope that it's okay. WX04 is our next stop. <laughs> that that airport was that runway was just stupid. Let's go to that guy. Keep going. Right about there. Right to that little valley. And this one is close. This one's only five miles as well. So that'll be pretty quick. Your eyes peel for something that looks really, really stupid. There's some fields over there, some clearings. Uh, nothing over there. Nothing up there. Up, oh, off to the right. Man, that last one was really ridiculous. All right, but we learned our lesson. If there's an uphill part, just land on the uphill part. Yeah, I haven't heard anything on the uh, on the Compton one. I know there's some speculation floating around, but it's um, not great to be speculating on stuff like that. Nice little village down there in the valley. What kind of airport you guys got here? Yeah, it does. It does look bad. But again, if it was something, I mean, again, spec. Oh, there we go. There we go. Runway is right there. It's actually not bad. Might be able to go straight in. Look at how nice, dude, I bet this thing is super gorgeous in real life. Holy crap, look at that. Right in this little village here. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, who knows. When it catches on fire, that's usually not a good sign. Um, but we'll see. Don't really have good depth perception here. Man, I bet this one really looks cool. This is like right in their frickin' town. This thing likes to bounce and come in hot. Uh, I think this is actually the airport over here to the right. 
and like a glove. Nope. Prop strike. Damn it. Damn it, damn it. Damn it again. Where'd I go? Continue. <laughs> Where are we? Okay, we're right at the end of the room. All right. Looking good. No problem. Okay, so that was a good one. <laughs> so friggin' ridiculous. Um, let's go Waka. Waka Waka. Yeah, we, we try to stuff them in when we can. Let's go let's find Waka. Where's Waka at? There it is. Pink. Activate. Whoops. How does this how does this look for a takeoff right here? This looks good, right? <coughs> and we're up. Takeoff roll really is pretty nice. Well, I think that was my favorite so far. Right in the middle of that town. <laughs> Vertical speed. Yeah, I like that. That was cool. We love all oh, and that. Look at that approach coming, coming over that. Yeah, I bet that is super fun to fly in when you have even a little bit of an idea what you're doing. Well, Kim, I turned, I did turn that off and it just makes this like big flat area around the airport and it looks really stupid with the ortho. Like there's just like a, a hard line. Um, these looked a little bit, it looked a little bit better just by a tiny bit. But it is flat. But it's okay. Yeah, this you could just friggin' chuck this thing around, it's awesome. This one should be good. Going a little bit out of the uh, out of the mountains, so it shouldn't be as ridiculous as some of. Oh, hey, just wondering why we were climbing out so slow. How's our fuel? Fuel's looking all right. Oh, I see, I see what you're. Um, I see what you're saying, Kim. Yeah. Seems like these bush planes are just skin-wrapped engines with wheels. Yeah, it's just just a PT6 with some like really thin sheet metal. towards that little valley.
Alright, how are we looking? 19 miles? Okay, and I think we can go back on the props a little bit here. Still want to be in the green though. It's probably a little bit better. So I, I saw a picture um, of the plane now Florida. Um, the cabin is intact. So for whatever that's worth, the cabin is intact. And the, uh, the absence of ambulance, Kim, could mean that they're already they're already out of there because they should have those on site so the response time should be pretty quick and they could they could have been out of there but all obviously complete speculation firefighter So what's the red line on this thing? That's just, that's just a suggestion. This is a swift looking bird. Look at that thing. Dude, that vertical stabilizer would come clean off at this speed. Good lord. Alright, there's 200. <laughs> that's our ground speed. A lot. Captain Aviation, how's it going? On our way to Waka. Waka, Waka. This is what I'm talking about. We're out of the mountains, so all of the the really dangerous stuff we got we got delivered, we got dropped off. And this will be knock on wood, much easier. That is true. All right, that's a good point. That's pretty much all airplanes, but this this one they didn't really spend much time um, thinking about aesthetics because that is one weird looking dude. <laughs> God, it's so ugly. So ugly. Now, we're still remote as hell, but not being in the mountains makes a huge difference. Let's see what kind of facilities they got here. Looks like we're headed straight for it. know a guy named Chad. <laughs> Chads are always prepared. Okay, so it's right in front of our right in front of our face here, maybe on the other side of this ridge. Jack, how's it going? Happy Thursday. Well, yeah, I I agree, Ernie, from like a um, I mean, I would rather fly this than an airliner in the sim, 100%. Um, this is this is way more entertaining of a plane. I mean, this this is like, I mean, a PT6 super light utility. This would be perfect in FS economy, in in a region like this. Like, look at that with the ortho. I mean, come on, that looks pretty solid.
and it is really hazy. Look at how dense that jungle is. Oh my god. That's pretty awesome. Right, how close are we? Three miles out, okay. Let's power back. That looks like an airport right there. Ooh, and is it an actual airport? Yep. It well to some degree. X plane doesn't think it is, but <laughs> alright. Okay then. Let's go props full. It's flat though. Let's see how this thing uh, slips. Whoa. Pretty, pretty damn aggressively. <laughs> oh my god. That is hilarious. Look at that slip. You know, it kind of grows on you a little bit. I, I'm not a fan of the door handle here. Um, and that like looks extra flat, but it's actually not, it's not bad. This plane is not bad. It's kind of charming. All right, now don't land on what looks like the runway because it's, it's not a runway. And we don't want to land with a tailwind, so let's come. Let's go over this way. Yeah, we gotta get prop the prop strike guys on this because this would be really cool. <laughs> Ortho is ridiculous. This does not explain at its absolute finest. That's for sure. It does, it does look like default Microsoft. Okay, here we go. Woo. Oh, it's hard to tell where the power's at. Look at this scenery. Oh, and then off to the... Whoa! Found it! Hello. Found the ground. Rudder, pe rudder pedals are everywhere. We, f we did find it. Okay, that was pretty good. That was survivable. Should we take off on the ortho runway? <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Uh, that's a good reminder of a time when immersion was all about imagination. Yep. Some might even say the good old days. Because now if there's pixels out of place, everyone freaks out. What the heck even is this? Dude, your guess is as good as mine. I I consistently know don't know what any of this is. Uh what is this thing called? WAP Okay, we're gonna make our way back to WAP. WAP Nope, there's Waka. That's where we're at now. Thank you. I don't see him. 
Let's see him. Okay, so what we're gonna do is figure out. Let's tune that to nav one, one twelve seven, one twelve seven. Okay, so that's in there. And then where is that? What is that slave to? VOR one. And let's. This is this is a nightmare. How the frick does that thing work? I guess we'll find out. All right, let's get this thing turned around. Yeah, well, it doesn't have a, it has a name, but I just can't. F I just it's not showing up on the nearest, and now I just did a complete 360. Come on, get back. Come on, rudder. Soft field takeoff. Yeah, there we go. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Departure end. Rip it. Um, okay, so is this the right direction? Yeah, that is the right direction. Okay. <laughs> Stalling in three, two, one, and power on stall. This was good. This was really nice. Uh, why is that? Let's keep seeing if this will pop up at any point. Near us, maybe, maybe if I like recycle it kind of. Waypoint, nearest. It's not showing up unless it's unless I have like the wrong Z8. Hmm. All right, well we got the VOR tuned in. We can somewhat maybe figure out how to get there with that helping us. No, that doesn't want to turn. Oh, that's heading. Basically, we'll just go this way. That looks pretty nice. Get the ortho shadows in there so it looks 3D even though it's flat as frickin' hell. Okay, let's check our map here. And that is confirmed. Nice. En route here. I'm going to pull up live ATC and see if we can hear anything from Fullerton. Let's go search and Fullerton. Unavailable. All right. Makes sense. Oh yeah. Pilatus Porter, super aerobatic. No, I know Kim, but I um but I was wondering they cuz sometimes they'll have like the tower will still be up. Um well, I mean the tower, someone's still in the tower telling people like yeah, you don't don't land here. Um but sometimes they'll also have the approach 
the nearest approach frequency as well so you can kind of hear if there if there are any updates So they got a lot of clouds on this ortho. God, that looks so stupid. It's kind of funny though. I mean, it shows you really how how these are made. Just pictures at any given time. What is going on here? There's like some. Oh, there's actually, it's like a 3D version of the, um, there's 3D and a 2D version of the lever. Oh, that is super jank. But kind of cool. makes it look like we're 20,000 feet. That looks pretty cool. Right. Uh, real world map, we're on the south Sai, the south coast of Papau. Uh, so like Papau, New Guinea, and then on the west side of that island is Papau. We're on the like southern portion of, of that island. So way the hell out there. Arizona Aviator, how's it going? Um, let's go here. So here's Papua New Guinea, here's Papau over here, and we're like right in this area right here. We just landed over here, and now we're heading over to that guy. And here's all the <laughs> all the little airports that we were just we just at, or at least some of them, a couple of them. Here. Okay. Actually, I don't know how far we are because I don't have it in the GPS. Let's see if the nearest is working. No. It must be a different. It's got to be a different identifier on here for for whatever stupid reason. What is this thing called? No, it's still. It's the right one. What are you flying? Turbo Otter? Um, Arizona Aviator? Negative. We are flying the beautiful, elegant, classy Pilatus PT6 Porter. Look at this beauty. Check that guy out. Not only does it look really good, because it does, but it is, it handles like a dream. Check this out. Look at that. Just like it's nothing. <laughs> Into Moses Kilogen International Airport. Beautiful downtown Kilogen. Yeah, dude, PT6. I'm. Kim, you've got the hookups, dude. Um, oh, have you gone to. No, uh, no. Mountain Approach from the Southeast. Recommended, but don't be an astronaut. <laughs> um, I don't know, Clouds. There's a couple. Um, we, we, we did a few of them. It's just. It's hard with the. Um, the GPS because they it doesn't really like this area. 
so it's kind of hard to find where some of these are. Um, but Kim, with your with your connections, I don't know, ma'am. I mean, the exterior is already kind of done on this one. Like, there's some there's some texturing that could be done here to smooth it out a little bit in places. But the framework is here. Interior needs some work. I think I think we need like a solid. Maybe not even like a thirty dollar plane. But we need like a fifteen dollar plane. Like I said, if someone already doing a tailor version, I will. Yeah. Or do it better. Dude, I'm telling you, man, it'd be pretty. It would be pretty sweet to have like a really nice version of this thing. And like the bush flying at Quatnam would be really freaking fun in this thing too. You'd have to really be be careful. It feels like we're super, super high up because of these clouds on the ortho, but I don't think that is the case. Oh, hey. How about that? How close are we, do you suppose? close just it feels like we're up on the flight levels with these stupid ortho clouds yeah it would be pretty cool cam i mean this is a unique plane for sure you got the pt6 there's a bunch of info on that thing um dude we could just we could go hard on the porter dude just PC6 club all the way and just really be nuts about it. See, will this thing, will this thing loop? Yeah, well, need a POH, a maintenance manual, some airfoil info. Yeah. Who do we know that has access to a, a Pilatus Porter? <laughs> we need to make some connections, man. We need to go, for, we need to hit up Instagram. I think we need to find some, some pilots. That might be the best way to do it. Just look up Pilatus Porter hashtag. Go poking around. See what we can find. We need to make this a nice landing into wherever we're at. And we need Finbar, of course, to make this thing look pretty. So right now... Doesn't look very good. Does not look very good. Oh, I can't... I can't wait to get the new uh, 53176 livery going. Should be getting pretty close, right? Still just absolute nothing out the window. Just the same thing forever.
I love my trace when we were leaving, just like all over the place. the makings of civilization. I think we got to do a low approach in here for sure. Um, what is this? That's a huge freaking river. Good lord. Is that ortho or is that actual X plane water? I think that's probably ortho. So if we try to water ski that, it's going to look really crappy. That almost looks like an airplane right there. Is that a friggin' airplane crash, dude? <laughs> Caterly one, yeah. Yes, that is. That is definitely the reference. Which is why we're in PT6 in pop out. And I, that, uh, maybe that's not a plane crash. I mean, that looks like an airplane, right? Would be weird if that was not an airplane. That looks pretty freaking legit. Wow. With the haze, too, that looks pretty cool. some autogen tree action in the middle of the river. That would have been nice a while back. Apparently we've got an airport over there somewhere. There it is. Oh, and that was X plane water too. That's cool. All right. Do a little pass and see what the winds are doing. And this is really cool. This river is gigantic. And this little Pilatus is hauling ass.
Okay. We've got a major tailwind here. Nice, easy landing. <laughs> yeah, this one feels like it's goes on forever. Oof. Thanks for the update, Kim. Not good news, but thank you for the update. Ugh. Okay, let's get first launch of flaps in here. And this is a scenery pack too, a uh, freebie scenery pack for this airport. Well, thank you for the update, Kim. No, that's good. So they're saying then that is above glide slope? Those lights can't be correct, right? This is way too, that's way too shallow. Oh my God. All right, so there's one, one red. And they hit these freaking palm trees. There's two reds. So that's supposed to be glide slope. And just pretty much take off the top of that tree. give it even a little bit of power and it just balloons up. I'll take acceptable. Even though there's it's like impossible to see how high up you are. It's <laughs> like oh my god, hilarious. Hilarious little plane. Yeah, those those pappies were smoking something. Is that a taxiway? I don't think that's a taxiway. We didn't even need the reversers on this one. That's awesome. Well, that was a, a pretty successful um, first trip around Popow. Um, we delivered some toothpaste and some blankets and some shoes, all kinds of good stuff for the folks, and we feel pretty good about it. We did we did a good thing and this Pilatus is hilarious the exterior is so much better than the interior maybe maybe some body parts yeah they got more than they bargained for Like a glove? Eh, kind of not really. That's pretty. That's pretty close. It's pretty close considering what we just went through to get here, to get here and back. Beam. 
and god that looks so cool let's see is that thing gonna stop spinning yeah it should Orbix released their stuff from P3D for this region in X-Plane. Interesting. Oh, that's interesting, Caterly. Yeah, I'll have to check that out. I haven't bought any Orbix stuff before, but this may be a good, this may be a good time to do that, I would think. Um, Father Time, how's it going? Lord Vold, happy Thursday. Yeah, that was pretty something else. What is happening over here? What? What is going on over here? <laughs> yeah, the Washington one looks really good. Okay, so how you doing, pal? Um, <laughs> what? Oh, that is, oh, that's so horrifying. Oh, what are you doing? That's the demon. Look at that guy's face. What happened to your face, dude? Oh. First of all, what are you doing? Second of all, why does your face look like that? <laughs> that guy is creepy looking. And what are you two doing? What's going on over here? Hmm? What you thinking about? It's pretty that's pretty freaky too. Not as not as freaky as homeboy over here. What are these guys up to? This guy is taking a very important phone call. This guy is looking very intently at nothing. That's good. What about these guys? Oh, this guy is also. It's his twin brother. Looks like Mike Trout a little bit. This this scenery is the gift that keeps on giving. Oh my god. Yeah. Total stare off. This guy this guy's like, can you believe this? What the hell? Oh my god. Alright, those that luggage is actually pretty Pretty high def. That looks pretty good. Whoa. Uh, let's see. This guy's very serious. Very serious. Yes. I am made of nothing but polygons. I am very serious. Yeah, that is a Piaggio, which um, uh, Susie Air actually has a Piaggio. Oh, what are these? What are these jackasses doing for sure? This guy. Oh my God! It's Jared. You guys, it's Subway Jared. Right? Like that is a hundred percent Jared. You pedophile creepo. Right? That's Jared. Ooh, get out of here, dude. Jared, the Subway guy, dude. The Americans will know what that is. The Americans know that that is frickin' Jared from Subway. Ugh. Creepo. Total creepo. Back to the little PC6. Well, that was really fun. I think I'm... I think we'll probably... <laughs> it's Brad M. It's, um... We'll probably have to do that again because that was pretty fun and there are a ton more airports as well. Maybe we might use an airplane that actually has interior textures. That would be kind of fun. Um, but we'll we'll see because this this little porter is pretty pretty damn fun. Um, yeah. Sorry guys, thank you so much for joining tonight on a rare Thursday. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow is the plan at least. Um, to debrief last night's night cross country flight and to brief for our flight on Saturday. And um, yeah, so that those both will be 
well, I mean the the night flight was a little bit long, but um, the the prep for Saturday should be should be pretty quick. So um, again, thank you guys for joining me on Thursday. Hope you have a great rest of your night, and um, yeah, see ya. Who's got it? I I should have come prepared. Jackie Four Fox Rock Golf. You can contact John Wayne Tower. One two six point eight. Good day. One two six point eight. See ya. Four 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 Fox Rock Golf. See ya. Later.